What's up everybody? Uh, thanks for watching. Today I'm actually on location at Premiercom, which is a Cisco partner in the Lancaster PA area. Uh, we're going to check out their field trial of companion mode, which if you're not familiar with companion mode, it is the ability to take a video conference room, tie it together with a WebEx board to take the you know functionality to the next level. So I'll introduce you to kind of what we're what we got going on here, take a look around the room, and then we'll look at the endpoint experience. And then we'll also look at the WebEx experience and I'm trying to piece together exactly what it is that happens here because it's a new concept and it's, it's pretty cool. So anyway, here we go. All right, first of all, we have the video endpoint and I have Jason on the other end. Hey, Jason. Hey, so, there, you go. so there's Jason and we have a couple other video participants. This is a quad camera, as you can see here, with dual displays and a uh, RoomKit Pro. In the back of the room, we actually have something else you may recognize, and that is a 55-inch WebEx board. Now, you notice that there is only the whiteboard option displayed here. Uh, that's because it's paired together in companion mode with the video endpoint at the front of the room. So more on this later. We'll be right back to this. I just want to show you the basic layout and dive in from there. So the cool thing about companion mode is if content is shared into the call, you can see the content both on the video endpoint as well as on the WebEx board. To take it a step further, however, the room that has companion mode enabled can take over that content and start annotating on top of it. So what we're gonna do is Jason's gonna share some content and then I'm gonna actually take over that content, start annotating back into the call, and I'm gonna show you a couple different views as we actually do that. Here we go. All right, so I'm in a call using the video endpoint that has um, companion mode enabled. I'm sharing content. You can see Jason on the far end. You can see the content that I'm sharing on the screen at the front of the room. So we have everybody's attention. In the back of the room, we also have the content displayed as a, you know, a sort of confidence monitor for the person who may or may not be standing at the front of the room presenting, you know, to the audience in the room. Um, they can see the content there as well. The cool thing is, is we are in a WebEx Teams meeting meaning we can use all the WebEx Teams meeting features. So if I walk up to this and I hit the annotate button, it's gonna grab a copy of that display uh, or of what was being presented. And I can now, uh, you know, grab a, uh, the pen. Purple, we'll use the thick line. And I can draw on this, uh, you know, draw on this content and annotate it. On the far end, if Jason is in front of the WebEx board, he can actually jump in and annotate on the content as well. So here we see Jason's annotating. I can actually take, uh, take the pen and mark some things up in real time as well. If you look at the display on my computer, you're also seeing that content being annotated on. So this would be, um, this would be the view of the you know, individuals who might be joining remotely from their home office, from a remote office, and all they have is a laptop. Um, so it brings together mobile devices, it brings together room systems, and it brings together users with WebEx boards uh, to give you that rich collaboration experience. So anyway, I'm hoping that gives you kind of a quick idea of what companion mode is, at least at its first uh, initial release. Uh, I'm gonna put some documentation as it becomes available in the comments uh, or in the video description. So check that out. Um, let me know some tips or tricks or you know experiences you've had with this. You may have seen this at Cisco Live or a couple of other places. As uh, companion mode matures and as some other features mature, I'm probably going to be featuring them here as well. So hit that subscribe button and keep coming back. I want to thank you for watching. Hope to see you again soon.